In this video, I want to show how to create a new generation node in OpenRoot Designer. There are two main parts for us to create the new nodes. First, you have to create a new cell library for the node, including the plan view, 3D top part, and 3D bottom part. Step two, you can modify the DJ library for um, creating the new element template, featured symbologies, and featured definition for the new nodes. Let's have a look on detail how to create the cell library. You can access docs.bentley.com. There's a lot of menu for different products, including civil design. You can see Jane and Utilities help. And I check on Jane and Utilities help on the category of feature types, nook, links, and polygons. And expand it. I assess Jane and Utilities feature definition. There's a topic called construction of cell used in feature definitions. I will use MicroStation to create a new cell library, or you can use Open Road Designer as well. So this is the requirement for creating the cell. First is the plan space cell. It is a 2D cell. It includes the element of the plan view of the node. And also there's some construction class element you have to define. The first is the cell location point. It is a construction class element and in line style 4 to define the location of the cell. And then we have another two element. They are alignment point and alignment line. And in same construction class element and line style 3. It used to align the 2D cell and 3D cell. So we can have a look on my cell library. This is the plan view of the node. It is a 2D cell. And I select the construction class element. You can see there's three construction class element. And they are in nice style three. There's alignment point and alignment line. And also there's one more point in the center to define the cell location points in line style 4. So this is the 2D plan cell. And then we move on for the 3D cell. We have to create two 3D cells, the top of the node and the bottom of the node. First is the bottom of the node. You have to create the 3D solid of the bottom part and there's some construction class element to define first alignment point and alignment line in line style 3 which is the same purpose for the plan cell to align the element and then it's connection region in line style 6 it's used for conduit to connect to the node. First, if you use rectangular node, you can use some shape to define the connection region. If it is a cylindrical node, you can create a cone surface to define the connection element. Also, there's a new features. You can create a connection points no matter for rectangular or circular nodes it used to connect the conduit and the beauty of using this point is for example if you use rotate or move the node the conduit will always pointing to this point which is the center of the node and lastly you can create a node bottom elevation point 
in lines down 5 to define the bottom elevation of the node. And you can see in my cell library, this is my bottom cell, and this is the bottom solid. And also, I can have a look on the construction class element. There's four construction class points and nine. For this one, this is line style six, which is the connection point. And then line style five to define the bottom elevation of the node. And there's line style three point and nine to define the alignment point and alignment line. Also, there's free shape here because it is a rectangular node. So I create free shape in construction class and line style six to define the region for connecting the conduit. Lastly, is another cell, which is the top part of the node. The same, we have to create a 3D solid for the top part of the node. And then we have to create some construction class element, including the alignment point and alignment line in nine style street and construction class. It used for align the 2D and 3D cell. And then we have to create a node top elevation point in line style 5 in construction class to define the top elevation of the node. Lastly, you have to create a node setting out point, which is in line style 1 or line style 2. You can refer to here to have a to know more about what's the difference between 9 style 1 and 9 style 2 to define the elevation of the setting out EZ. So have a look on my top cell. You can see this is the top solid of the node. And if I filter all construction elements, you can see I can define a line style free line and line style free points to define the alignment line and alignment points. And then this is line style five. And it it is my node top elevation point and which is defined here. And lastly, is the setting out point in construction class element and line style two. So this is the 3D cell required for my new node. Once it complete, I can copy that cell library to my workspace. You can have a look on this path. I set C drive, program data, Bentley, open road designer 10.11, configuration, workspace. And I'm using MRWA standard, so I go to MRWA design workspace and standards and cell library. I will copy my new node cell library to here. So I can go to here and copy the cell library to this path. So this is what to do for the part one to create the cell library for the new node.